the building tonight. Uh, I want to wish everybody a happy early Thanksgiving, pre-Thanksgiving to everybody that's in the kitchen late, that's going to be up late tonight. Hey, talking to y'all. What's up? What's going on? Got the wife back here. She ready to do the uh, start of Thanksgiving cooking the prep meal. So she got everything on. Hey, she got my turkey in the sink that she thawed out for me today. So it's all thawed out. I got to get it going. So I'm going to flip the camera around on the wife so she can show y'all what's going on and see how long I can stay in the kitchen because you know she going to put me out. I might mess something up. So she might put me out of the kitchen. So I'm going to see how long I stay in the kitchen before I mess something up. How about that? Oh, no. You staying in the kitchen tonight. I think that's what you try to do. I just, you know what? When you said that, it made, you know, my mind got going. And it just hit me just now, all these years. You get on my nerves so I can put you out of the kitchen so you don't have to do No, that ain't going to work tonight. So, no, it's not going to work. You stand in this kitchen tonight. I ain't gonna be in here by myself all night slaving you and us doing somewhere. Well, there it is, family. Come on here. <laughs> all right, we're finna flip it around so I can get on the wife. A couple of y'all want to see how, how the wife do, uh, how the pie she prep for Thanksgiving. So, look like she got some macaroni. Yeah. So, I'm, I'm gonna, gonna try to make this as detailed as possible. Now, I may not show every little yeah. thing, like vegetables and stuff like that but i know some people left me comments want me to show like you know how i prepare everything so i'm gonna try my best to show y'all um you know how i make everything and so a lot of this is now i don't think we cooking nothing tonight no pretty no. all right yeah well i just make the oh i forgot all about the potatoes for the potato salad but i just make the um well come on More let me show. work man all right go ahead and who who be in a potato salad every Thanksgiving? Your mama. <laughs> What's that movie? What movie that was it? Who ate the potato salad? <laughs> Cause you always say that's the name of the movie. Oh, that's the name of the movie. Who, who made the potato salad? Oh, who made the potato salad? Something like that, yeah. Oh. Okay, come on. Honey. All right, all right, hold on, y'all. Okay, so zoom in on these noodles, honey, so I can show them how they want the noodles. So you want your noodles, you don't want them um, sticky. So you don't want to cook your noodles. You want to cook them maybe 10 to 15 minutes. You don't want to cook them long. See how they move around like that? That's how you want your noodles. Okay. So. Why we want them like that? Because you don't want it sticky and then it's going to cook in the microwave still. Okay. I mean, not the microwave, in Lord, the, the oven. oven. Yeah. I hope it ain't going in the microwave. <laughs> yeah. So then I like to add some melted butter. You coming to help with your mother? So I add my melted butter and then I'm going to start adding my cheese. Jamal, get some of them for me. Okay. So, this is um, Kobe Jack. So, I'm going to put that in now. And then, I'm going to put, I still got some more Kobe Jack. What that is, Jamal? Kobe Jack? Okay, give me the other one. Give me the um, and I'll put that on top. Okay, then we have the um, mild cheddar. And I know y'all may be saying, ooh, that's a lot of cheese. That's how macaroni and cheese is supposed to be. That's why it's called macaroni and cheese. Right. So if you are, you know, trying to watch your weight, this is not <laughs> the video for you. <laughs> 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 it's not the video. But if you want to come in the kitchen and have fun with us, you can come and have fun with us. But Yeah. Sorry to all of the family that's health country. Yeah. Right there. Hey. Man. Hey. After Thanksgiving, we're going to be back on that again, but uh, not right now. Look at okay. that. Look at that, family. Can you put this cheese in? Yeah. Woo! So let me tell y'all, this is the key. This is the secret ingredient to having a good, nice, gooey macaroni and cheese, uh, Parmesan cheese. Good. So I like this brand. I got it from Publix, but you, I think Walmart have it. Not this brand, but they have like the... um. Jamal, give me a, um, you pass me some scissors, but they have the shave. That's what I'm looking for. Okay. That's the word I'm looking for. The shave cheese. 
Okay. So is it a certain brand that they need or just get a good brand? Of, of yeah, the just a good brand. Like I said, Publix have this one. And I think Walmart have, not this one, but something like it. The one that Walmart have, I think you have to shave it. You know, it's, it's like that chunk. Right. So, put some of that. Before I start using this, you know, the macaroni was good, but it was like, um, so one year, I started using this, and Jamal was like, what you do with that macaroni? It had that, you know, that greasy kind of. I, I don't think I'm going to need no more, Jamal. I think this one will. I don't know. So, and so when this melt, you know, all that cheese will melt into it. But what I like to do is just um, mix everything together and then put it in the refrigerator. And then the morning of Thanksgiving, then put it in the oven. Okay. You know, that way everything fresh. So, the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to add some milk. And I may add, and y'all, I can't tell y'all measurements because I just cook. I mean, you know, I just, I just pour everything in. I don't know. It's just, you know, that look, you know, the texture you're going for. So, if you like your macaroni a little firmer, then add less milk. So, I'm not a cook. I just like to cook at home. So, you know. Yeah. Well, I'm saying like a professional cook. Thank you. I'm a professional cook. Mm -hmm. Okay, so this is some salt. So I'm just going to add some salt. Those need to be clean, Jamal. You want to clean. Well, no. And then I may add a little more because when you put the milk in there, you know, you may have to add a little bit more. Who like pepper in there? I like pepper. You like that pepper taste, honey? Yeah. In the macaroni and cheese? But it be so cheesy, though, you really can't taste it. But you, you can taste that it a little, little bit. Hint, that little hint. Yeah. Ooh, about to sneeze. I think that's what happened last time on the video. I thought that's what happened on the last video. And it's still not, I still want it a little bit more runny because once it sit overnight and then once it, once it cook, you want it to be, you know, nice and gooey you don't want it to be dry so you know i may add stuff here and there so um another thing i need to add is the sugar i bet somebody likes sugar yeah so the sugar i don't know it just give it a certain taste i don't know i just add a little you don't want to add a lot but you know just a little sugar it's like the sugar kind of take that tartness. How is somebody going to be like, oh, I can't eat that? I'm telling y'all, try it. You're not adding a lot, so you're not going to taste the sweetness. It's just to kind of balance out the tartness from, or I guess I would say like the tartness and the saltiness of the cheese. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I said, I'm not a chef, so I don't know the correct terms for all that. All I know is, I know how to cook because I didn't my husband up. He used to be like a little skeleton when we first got married. So. Uh, it's time for me to interject because she's not, what she's not finna do is be talking about me on the slide. Yeah, I'm talking about you in a good way. I'm just letting them know that I can cook. First, you If I can cook, you will still be. Real skinny like you used to be. We got married. Which one that wrong with it? I like it either way. So first you call me skinny. Then you call me fat. I, when did I call you fat? You just call me fat. You no, said first. That you went from skinny to when I started cooking and you got fine. You went from skinny to fine. Those were not the words that came out of your mouth. You said first I was like a skeleton. That's calling me skinny. Right, and then what I said next? I fattened you up. You did say that. Then, then it, Jamal. Yeah. Jamal, didn't it? Didn't it? Yep. Family. Y'all heard her call me fat. My I feelings hurt. You fat, My man. feelings are hurt. Y'all. I said I fattened you up a little bit and put a little meat on Y'all see, arm. look, look. My eyes is getting watered and everything. See how she hurt me then? Okay, so we done with this. We don't want to bore the family and, and make this an extra long video. 
So this is done. This is the macaroni. You're just gonna cut me off. I'm sorry, honey, but you know I have to. I mean, we're trying to get this ball going. We're trying to have this video up. I know. If I keep going, I'll get out of the kitchen, see? We're trying Look. to have this video up for the family tonight. See, y'all, I'm trying to get this video up for y'all. Y'all see how much I love y'all. Y'all wanted this video, so I'm trying my best to get it up for y'all tonight. So, we that's fit. it with the macaroni. So, I'm basically just going to take this, put it into the casserole dish that I'm going to cook it with, mm -hmm. cook it in tomorrow, put it in the refrigerator. And that's then it? tomorrow I get up and cook that. So, that's it. So, it. how long did it take in the oven? I usually cook it for probably about... 45 minutes to an hour. Y'all yeah, hear that, family? Yeah. On um, 350, depending on how, if you like, like, if you like it brown on top. And I forgot another thing. So when I put this in the casserole dish, I top it off with just a little cheese on top. Okay. So that's it. That's it for the macaroni and cheese. All righty. Okay, y'all. One thing I forgot, Velveeta. Had a little carried away. Mitchell was rushing me. Oh, you ain't got nothing to say? Nothing to say at all. Yeah. You ain't getting out this kitchen tonight, so you can try to be all sweet and nice. You gonna be in this kitchen tonight. So, I just like to break that up. And I know a lot of people don't like Velveeta, and I don't like a lot of it, but I don't know. It just add that extra little creaminess to the um macaroni and cheese. So, I just drop a couple of little... Probably like a half, a half of a small pack. And I actually just used one box of macaroni noodles. So, that's that. What you looking for, Drew? All right, so for the dressing, I use Jiffy Mix. Now, you can fix your own, you mean, you know, homemade cornbread, but Jiffy Mix work good for me. So, I use Jiffy Mix. And then, I'm going to go ahead and add my eggs. And then, I have this Trinity mix, which is onion, bell peppers, and celery. So. I think they should have sold by that at the store. store right yeah. Those, I forgot to melt my butter. For those of that watching. Okay, so I have my Jiffy mix, my eggs. So, I'm going to add some buttermilk. So that's what I do. To, to me, it helps the Jiffy Mix taste more homemade. So I'm going to add the buttermilk. And you just want to add a little time because you can always add, but you can't take away the buttermilk. So that way you can control the soupiness. How soup it is. And then I want to add my butter. Okay. And then I like to add, I know some people um wait until the cornbread is done, but I like to add my um onion, celery, and bell pepper in with the cornbread mix. Okay. That way it can cook. You know, because I don't like crunchy. I don't like crunchy um, onions and stuff like that. Right. You know, you bite down your celery, you want it to be soft. I mean, celery. Lord. I can't get my stuff together or not. When you bite down on your dressing, you don't want to be crunching on onions and bell peppers and stuff. Mm -hmm. So, that's it. So, I'm going to put this in the oven, cook this, and then I guess we'll, um, once this get done, I'll come back and just show you all how I make the dress. Okay. That's I know, it. family, y'all seen Jamon just enter and exit the video <laughs> making tea. Say hey to the family, son. I think he making coffee. It ain't tea. What you got? Coffee? coffee? You drinking coffee? Yes, I'm drinking coffee. You don't need coffee? I need coffee. Y'all let me see Jamon in the in the vlog. We finally got him home. That's a big basketball player, so he look at him. He got little guns now. Look at him. I ain't 
tell you the other day when we was at when we was at I was on the cake delivery. Oh, let me show y'all before I sprayed my um pan with some baker's jar. Okay. But I ain't tell you the other day when we was at I was on a cake delivery. He had some little girls waving at them next to us in the car. Who? Jamon need. Little girl. I don't know some little like girl. Oh, they go to school with you. Oh, okay. I don't know them like that, though. But they were waving, though. Yep. What'd they do? He said, no, that's not. He said, no, that's trying to play hard. Do it, I wasn't trying to play do it, hard. Do it again, son. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> I just wait. I was just like. Oh, my goodness. All right, baby, what you doing? I'm done. I'm just putting my cornbread. Okay. Put my cornbread in the oven. All right. Let that cook. So, you ready? You ready to do your turkey? Yeah. All right. All right. Oh, family. All right. My part of the video, the wife get all the hard stuff. I get the easy stuff. So, I do all the meat and uh, the wife do all the other stuff. So, this is my part here with the turkey, the big dog. We got us a big, uh, why that 12 pound, baby? 12 pound mm. turkey, 12 pound turkey. Some of y'all might have big 20 pounders because you got big families and stuff like that, but we got a 12 pounder. And uh, this is actually a uh, pretty good sized turkey. But I just washed them down in the sink, got them all clean, got me a little paper towel. You gotta get some good, decent paper towel to dry them off. So I'm drying them off now before I season them up. Hey, you gonna watch that turkey like that man did on that video? What video? You know that video I showed that you. Was chicken. It I know, was but I, chicken. I know what I'm saying. You gonna watch the turkey like he did that chicken? We had the dishwasher liquid. <laughs> 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 what he said? You told me to watch. Deborah told me to watch the chicken. <laughs> that cat. That, <laughs> he had dishwasher liquid in the bag. Yep. All right. Hey, at least I guess it was clean. It was. Yep, but I'm drying them out. You want to dry them outside and inside. And you know, I'm not the chef, but this stuff I learned along the way. But, uh, yeah, that's him. So I'm finna throw this away. And look, y'all, I gotta be careful because if y'all know my wife, if y'all seen in previous videos, y'all know how she is by chicken and turkey and all that. I gotta treat this like chicken. So I gotta be clean. I can't be splattering juices everywhere and all that stuff, right, honey? That's right. Oh my goodness. So I'm you trying want to... chicken? You want turkey juice on your dessert? Said, <laughs> yeah. Whatever else you gonna put on the counter? All right, chief. All right, all right, all right. So cross contamination. Anyway, y'all already know we got the stuff over there. I gotta clean the counter. I gotta. Clorox the sink and I'll bleach the sink down and all that stuff. So I'll prepare, right, honey? Mm -hmm. I'll prepare. So I'll try not to swing my hands everywhere and be swinging juice all over the refrigerator. And I <laughs> now you just doing too much. That's too much. But uh, yeah. So hey, we got them down. All right, come on. What you gonna do next? I'm finna season. Where you uh, where you inject your stuff? You gotta inject your turkey with. You think I can I can still season it then inject it or you want me to inject it first? Well, you want to massage and season? Well, however you want to do it. Yeah, that's what I'm finna do. Massage and season them down on the outside, then we'll inject. Yeah, he ain't remember. He probably got out of there. Listen, where is it? Where trying, is it? It's in the cabinet still. Mm -hmm. I'm trying to do this, and she look. She just want to go ahead. She just want to let me do it my way. She, I'm gonna let you be great. Go ahead. Oh, uh, it would help. Whatever. Anyway, got my own little seasoning here. I thought last time you put butter on it. You uh -huh. want your butter? She just can't hit the family. She just okay, can't well, go it. ahead. I just thought you did butter last time. Go ahead. Give me, I, I need to melt it down. Let me melt my butter, let me melt my butter down. No, go on, go on, do what you do. Go ahead. Let me melt me some butter down. Yeah, he forgot that way he tried. Yeah, he just can't down. see, he just can't admit that he forgot his butter. You could at least say, thank you, honey. I, I forgot my butter. The wife won't let me be great. I mean, I'm coming back. Let me get my butter. I ain't cutting <laughs> it off. I ain't cutting it off. He coming back like he on uh, Food Network somewhere. Let me get my butter. 
All right. You know how to get my butt to cut my hands off. I got my gloves Let me get on. Your butt. So you Y'all see that? Y'all see how he did me? He want to act like I'm trying to tell him how to cook. I'm just trying to tell him it need to be melted. I just told you that. Wait a minute now. I, just, I said, baby, it's going to have to be melted down. You need to get You're that. trying to give me some cold, hard butter. You need to get that attitude right before I help you out. What? Hey, man. You get your attitude right or you can take them gloves out and get your own butter. What's, what is it going to be? I need my butter melted. Either okay, way. what you? Okay, either well, what I'm you? I'm gonna do it, or you gonna do it. So you tell me. Okay, well, I go back <laughs> over here. What you gonna say? You want me to melt your butter? I don't know if y'all know me, friend. I'm one of them hard head folks. Really, you I gonna take your? I melt my own butter. I don't need you. I can melt my own butter. You gonna melt my butter for No, nah, take your gloves. <laughs> <laughs> take the gloves out. <laughs> Come on, Melvin. What they used to call it back in the day? Woofing. Woofing? Bluffing. No, I'm bluffing now. So, uh, What's woofing? I'm selling wolf tickets now. Well, you doing both of them because you, you trying to act like you taking your little glove off. Well, you All right, y'all. I'm going to come butter. back. Let me melt this guy's butter. All right, friend. I got my butter. Finally, got my butter from the wire. So we're going to all them down. We gonna massage him down. That butter gonna make him nice and brown. Help brown him out. Yeah. I don't even rub your back like that, man. <laughs> really? So maybe I need to melt you some butter then, fish. <laughs> 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 Come on here. <laughs> I don't know, buddy, but it's butter a little slippery. I don't know if you want butter on you. That, uh, that's a big, for that to be a young turkey, that's a big turkey. I thought it was a lot smaller, you know, when I got it in the stuff. Yeah, we done unwrapped him and he done mm -hmm. come out the package, baby. Some people say, which I know the presentation is not good, but some people say cook it, cook it like this. That way, the juice, you know, from the bone run down into the breast. What you think about that? That's cool too. Like into the breast of the meat and make it um juicy. Cook it this side up. Yeah, you don't have to do it. I'm just saying. Some people say that that that's what it uh, um that's what it does. Makes it juicier. But you getting let me back up because you getting sloppy. Slanging turkey juice everywhere. <laughs> Somebody help this chick, please. Somebody help me. <laughs> Alright. Alright, baby you. Okay. So we here, we got them all buttered up, greased up. Got my all little mix of seasoning on here. I'm gonna rub, rub it down. Little rub on the outside. Yeah. I think more mud on my glove than on the chicken, on the turkey. That's because you should have just Sprinkled it on there, cause you know what you what you having that boat on there. I should have done it first, like I had planned, to put my seasoning on that first, then put my butt on there. But listening at the wife, I done it first. I done it how she suggested, and it ain't doing like I wanted to do. But that's all right. It's gonna come out good, honey. Don't be acting like that. All you have to do is get you some more seasoning. And just sprinkle over the turkey. I don't want too much seasoning on it. No, I'm saying there is not enough on there for you. I hear. It's what's on the inside that counts, not on the outside. You know, you're not finna psych me up with that foolery <laughs> and have me all baited up. It was on the inside. Oh my goodness. Can I get an amen from you subscribers out there? <laughs> 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 Oh, you taking them can to church I, now. Can I get an amen? Because all what you see on the outside all the time is not the case. What's on the inside that matter? That's my job to take them to church. 
And we can go to church now. Oh, speaking about the goodness of the Lord. Go ahead and tell them. My mama brought me a Christmas tree today. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, y'all. All right, y'all. So let me tell you. My mama found, called me because she saw the video about the Christmas tree and saw that her son-in-law had to throw my Christmas tree away, right? So she was like, I got a Christmas tree in storage. And I'm like, okay. Well, send me a picture of it. So she ended up bringing the tree to the house. Look at God. <laughs> I got me a Christmas tree. See, you know, you know what? Let me tell you what I learned from that. Let me tell you what I learned from that. What you learned? See, if I would have been fast, not patient, and bought a tree the other night, mm -hmm. we would have been at of almost two hundred dollars. Mm -hmm. But I waited. No, because of your husband not getting a tree. That's what happened. I could have still went and got the tree. Family, y'all. Oh, family, family, family saw the video. Don't, and I'm testifying. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> Don't interrupt me while I'm testifying, y'all. My mama bought me the tree over here today. So, we'll have that video. But I'm telling y'all, Mitra, it's the message behind it, ain't it? It is. What's the message? To those that are patient. Oh, you wanted a little patient in that video. You wanted a little patient. I, you said patient. I ain't say I was patient. All right. I said that the Lord hooked me up with the tree. He did. And he saved did. us almost $200. He did that. He did that. So, Sa saved me. So, I said I'll let the say this. That, you know, me and the kids. I ain't tell you about the conversation me and the kids had today. So, we was just say, talking about some of the goals while Mr. Koga get his stuff together back there. We were just talking about some 2019 goals that we have. And so I was telling the kids, uh, we were riding today, and I was telling them, you know, don't look at something that's impossible to happen. Like they were saying they wanted to go to, uh, I think they said they wanted to go to Hawaii or something like that in Times Square. So I'm like, listen, don't think that that's impossible. You know what I'm saying? That's right. Because all things are possible. You know, and that's I've never been to Times Square myself, but hey, my kids want to go there. Guess what? Some kind of way, we gonna end up there. And so anyway, that's what I was telling them today. Oh, okay. I was just telling them that hey, we confess it, we believe it, it can happen. I think that was a good parenting moment there. It was good job, honey. I smell my cornbread though. Hold on a minute, let me check my. Oh, okay. Ooh, it's starting to smell like things. Giving up in here. Let me turn the camera back on, Mr. K. Oh, no. Just finna inject them real quick. Okay. Show them. You want to show them what you're using? Oh, uh, we using something different this year. We normally use that other kind, but we got a Xanarin Cajun seasoning this year. I inject in there. So, we're going to try something a little different. And uh, we finna hook the inside of them up. They're going to have muscles for us over with because we're swelling them up. But it ain't nothing to injecting. Injecting the turkey. Just get him in all your meat spots. And uh, just get him. Inject him. Pump him up. Ain't nothing to it. And we're going to, when I'm done, we're going to let him sit overnight. And I'm going to throw him in the oven in the morning. And uh, we're gonna be done, family. What's up, family? Hey, finished up my turkey. The wife, she's still in the bed. But uh, I got up a little early, finished up my turkey. And uh, man, this mother, is, I put it out the oven. I went over here and bagged it, put it in the oven. But man, this mother is just falling off the bone. I mean, I pulled it out, I'm like, Wait a minute, something ain't right. Then I bust my bag and went to looking at it. I'm like, oh, she all the way right. All the way right. So that mother started falling off the bone family. So what I'm going to do, I went on here and started cutting it. As you can see, hold on, hold on. there you go. 
I start cutting it up. And what I'm gonna do is just plate it so everybody can just cut them a slice. Or I may go ahead and slice it myself so everybody can uh, grab it and go. So they won't just have to cut off the bone. So, I mean, you can literally see down here that baby. I'm talking about I just fell off the bone. So, I kind of like it myself. I already tasted it. It's mm -mm, good. You hear what I say? Good, but uh, yeah, that's my turkey, man. I'm gonna go ahead and plate it up, plate it up again, as y'all can see it down there. Got some of the breast on there, and the uh, legs. I'm talking about people just fell off the bone. Mmm, and talking about juicy. How you doing? Where they do that at? Only here at the Cocos, baby. Hey, hope y'all enjoy y'all dinner, man. Hope y'all got. Some some good turkeys out there, good hams, uh, potato, salad, uh, man, all kind of stuff. I hope y'all enjoy y'all self. But that's my segment of the turkey, my finished product, so I'm going to plate it up. Uh, we still got to heat up the ham, too, and do the, actually do the potato salad. So I think the wife, she may put that in her video, but I'm trying to whisper and be quiet because everybody's sleeping. I'm the only one up. No, Jane up. Jane got up, so... But we the only ones up here by their sleep. But uh, listen, it's just real quick. Y'all know the wife could not make a red velvet cake. Look at that. My, my, my. My, 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 my. Hey. Here we go. But uh, yeah, man, we're going to holler at y'all in a sec. But uh, deuces.
family, that's the prep video. Hope y'all enjoyed that. Hey, there's a lot of stuff in there. The wife put a lot of stuff that she normally wouldn't put in there when she cooking and stuff. So I hope y'all enjoyed that, man. And hey, we'll be back for y'all Thanksgiving in another video. But that was our Thanksgiving prep video. Thank y'all for watching, man. Continue. Tell the family. Tell your cousin, your auntie, grandma. Yeah, grandma. Tell her to surprise to uh, subscribe to. Thumbs up the video, all that stuff, man. All our new people that come on, we appreciate y'all, man. Welcome to the Koga Night family. Hey, and we're going to put these videos up for y'all, man. But I'm going to let y'all have it until uh, later on and we start filming again. Love y'all, man. Appreciate it. Hey, you know the saying. Remember, and all that you do, to do it big. Peace. Boom.